another dhamakedar faratedar and absolutely mazedar session by vedantu young wonders because Every child is special and आज का सेशन है हमारे ग्रेड एट के एक्स्ट्रा एंड एक्स्ट्रा स्पेशल बच्चों के लिए बिकॉज टूडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद ग्रेड एट साइंस प्रिंट बिगनिंग फ्रॉम द चैप्टर क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन एंड मैनेजमेंट दिस इज द चैप्टर फ्रॉम योर ग्रेड एट एनसीआर टी साइंस टेक्सट बुक एंड टूडे इन दिस क्लास वी विल बी फिनिशिंग द इंटायर चैप्टर लाइक नेवर बिफोर एंड दैट इज वॉट वेदांत यंग वंडर्स दस इट ब्रिंग्स अप सम वंडरफुल सेशन for the wonderful kids of vedantu young wonders so if you haven't joined the amazing family of vedantu young wonders join now do like share and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on any video that we bring on screen for you guys this is the amazing family of vedantu young wonders who work day in and day out to make your every tomorrow better than yesterday we also work so hard to make you a stronger bigger and better person so i appeal to all of you to please like share and subscribe to vedantu young wonders and do hit on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we come online with that guys this is the amazing telegram group of vedantu do not forget to join the telegram app so that you get notified about each and every class about whatever we are planning next we also take suggestions from you guys on how should we plan and what do you want to see on the big screen and we will try our level best to do that for you guys so connect with us on telegram all the details on how to connect with telegram are given in the description below so do connect with us on telegram and this is how telegram helps you notify about all the upcoming classes so guys let us begin learning about crop production and management a very very important from your grade 8 science ncert point of view because this chapter tells you about the different types of crops about how the crops are grown everything that you need to know about the agricultural practices and it also tells you about animal husbandry so without wasting any further time let us begin learning about the types of crops so here we go based on the season based on the seasons there are two major types of crops based on the season there are two major types of crop that is the kharif crop and the rabi crop these are based on season types of crops that are based on seasons so kharif and the rabi crops are based on seasons these are the crops that can be classified based on their harvesting season we have got the kharif crops examples very very important uh, slide this is that this tells you the examples of kharif crops and rabi crops kharif we have cotton maize groundnut soya bean and paddy whereas in rabi we have got gram pea mustard and wheat a very very important slide which tells you the types of crops that is kharif crops and rabi crops based on their season of sowing and harvesting so do remember all that examples even if you remember two of them it is very uh, you know enough that in kharif we have got cotton uh, cotton maize groundnut soya bean and paddy where is in rabi we have got gram peas mustard wheat these are the kharif and rabi crops along with that this is the entire process of crop production and management these are the steps that are given line by line on how crop production and management is done first we prepare the soil the soil is prepared by plowing we use different tools that all will be discussed further in this slide that how the soil is prepared so the first step is preparation of soil next comes sowing of the seeds here also there are different methods how seeds are sown they can be just scattered that is a very traditional and age old method along uh, other than that we have got some machines which sow the seeds at regular intervals of distance so that each seed is sown properly it gets in of moisture and nutrients and sunlight from the soil and the environment so this is the second step the third step is adding manures and fertilizers which are very important from the growth for the growth of the plant different minerals like magnesium nitrogen potassium urea everything is required in great quantities by the plant for its good growth and yield so adding of manures and fertilizers is the third step the fourth step comes on irrigation by irrigation i mean the supply of water irrigation can be done in two types that is <clears throat> 
modern methods of irrigation and traditional or the age old methods what are modern methods what are traditional methods all of that will be explained in detail in this uh, session so please stay tuned with the session the next uh, comes weeding weeding is removal weeding is removal of the access of uh, you know grass or access of unwanted plants near the crops so weeds are the excess unwanted plants that are growing near your crops which need to be removed so that your crop gets sufficient nutrients and minerals for its growth a very important process in farming that is weeding next comes harvesting in harvesting you you chop off your yield you chop off the you know the output from your crops and then you thresh it thresh it means you remove the husk from the grain and in the end you do the storage storage again is very very important that how you store your grains because if they are not stored properly they can be get they can get infested by rodents or worms and that can spoil your entire harvest so storage is again a very very important factor when it comes to crop production and management these are the eight steps that should be followed for successful crop production and management beginning from preparation of soil sowing of the seeds adding manure and fertilizers to the growing crops providing water weeding harvesting threshing and storage all of these are equally important to have a successful crop production and management let us move on to the next slide that deals with preparation of soil so preparation of soil begins with plowing or tilling plowing means plowing means you expose the inner layer of the soil to air you expose inner layers of the soil to air and that is nothing but plowing plowing can be done using a hoe using a plow or a cultivator tilling tilling is to give the soil a good shape or a good level so tilling is nothing but leveling the soil you know if your soil is in a upheaval to give it a good level you call it as tilling so plowing and tilling are the two important steps which are done by preparation of soil so these are the different tools a hoe a plow or a cultivator which is used to prepare the soil with that the next step comes sowing as i told you there are different methods of sowing there are different methods of sowing the seeds traditional or the age old methods was just scattering the seeds which was practiced by the early man which did not give you a good channelized growth which give you a very scattered growth so that is why there there was a need to bring a uniformity a proper method of sowing of seeds and that brought us to the funnel method through the funnel method the as you can see clearly the farmer is putting the seeds in a funnel so that funnel is carried uh, the funnel is pulled by the bullocks so the farmer puts the <coughs> seeds in the funnel he puts the seeds in the funnel and that funnel has a sharp the funnel has a sharp end so it makes a hole in the soil the seeds fall into the soil and then the funnel is taken further and again the uh, farmer puts the seeds in the funnel again the funnel makes them fall into the pit that is created due to the sharp end of the funnel and this process goes on and goes forth but this is a very tedious and a time consuming process so now we have got a modern method of a seed drill a seed drill is a machine by which the seeds are automatically sown at equal distances without any non uniformity at equal distances with the help of a machine it is very very time efficient and it reduces human effort so the two methods by which seeds can be sown are the funnel method and the seed drill method that brings us to the third step of adding manures and fertilizers very very important for the growth of the plant so this step adding manures and fertilizers is very important for the growth of the plant this is for the growth of the plant or the crops the growing crops need lot of manure and fertilizers for their proper growth and manures and fertilizers can be added using organic substances or natural substances fertilizers are man made they can be organic inorganic natural or synthetic or rich in some particular nutrients like the npk npk is rich in nitrogen phosphorus and potassium there are different fertilizers organic inorganic there are different types of manures also called as compost also called as compost which helps 
to make the plants or the crops grow properly. It provides the required nutrients in perfect quantity for the growing crops so that you obtain good proper yield. The third step of adding manures and fertilizers is meant for the growth of the plant. Let us look at the fourth step that is irrigation. For irrigation, as I told you in the beginning of the session, irrigation means supply of water to the growing crops. Now irrigation can be done in two different methods, traditional or the modern. Let us look at the traditional methods. The traditional methods includes using of a moat. A moat you can see over here, the uh, person is taking out water from the well and just pouring it with his hand. Again, a very, very time and human effort consuming method. Second method is a chain method where they make a chain and with the help of the chain the water falls here and it reaches the farm. The third is the Dhekli method and the fourth is the Rahat or the liver system. The Rahat or the liver system is where the bullock is made to uh, make to rotate the liver and the water gets drawn from the water source and buckets are placed here which make the water fall into the farmland. So these moat, chain pump, dhekli and rahat are the traditional or the age old methods. The traditional or the old methods, all the traditional and old methods are very very time and human effort consuming. So with that we have got a counterpart to that is the modern method. Always remember the modern methods are costly, they are very costly, they are machine oriented and they consume lot of energy like electricity. So we have got the sprinkler system but they are also very efficient. Sprinklers you would have seen in your school gardens or your parks where sprinklers just sprinkle water in the form of little little droplets like rain throughout the farmland so that everywhere water spreads around evenly or you have got drip system. Drip irrigation is very very expensive. It is very very expensive but it is very very effective and water saving. It is very very effective and water saving. It is a water saving method. In this method what happens is, let me show you what happens in drip irrigation. So if here is your crop and here is your another crop, the farmer will put a long pipeline. Let me change the color of the pen to make you understand better. The farmer will put a long pipeline and near every crop there will be a source of water. There will be a tap like structure. And from this tap like structure at regular intervals, at regular in intervals, water will drip in the form of droplets. Water will drip in the form of droplets and it will just reach the root of the plant. The root of the plant so that water is saved, energy is saved. It is completely efficient because there is where the plant needs water. The plant needs water only in the roots. If you pour the water on the leaves, it will go all waste. So drip irrigation is very expensive but it is very very efficient and a very very water saving method. It is a modern method of irrigation. That brings us to step number 5 that is weeding. As I told you weeds are the unwanted grass or the unwanted plants that grow near your crop and stops its growth because weeds absorb all the nutrients so the nutrients that are available for your crop become less. Weeding is the process of removing excessive growth of additional plants near your crop. Weeding can be done with the help of a khurpi, a seed drill or spraying 2,4-D. 2,4-D is a type of a spray, a toxic spray which kills away the weeds and it protects your plants. Many times it can also affect your crops but that is not recommended. So seed drill or khurpi is something that is recommended to carry out the process of weeding. Again, if you want the weeding, weeding is the process of removal of excessive grass from your farm. The excessive grass or the excessive growth of plants near your crops is nothing but weeding. 
This brings us to the sixth and the very important process, the one of the most important processes of your crop production and management and that is harvesting. Harvesting is when you cut off your crop output. Now after so much of effort of preparing the soil, adding manure and fertilizer, sowing of the seeds, irrigation, after doing so much, finally the farmer has got his harvest ready. And now is the time to harvest, that is, to chop the yield to you know cut off the yield from the remaining crop and that can be done manually using a sickle or a harvester machine nowadays everything is machine made everything is done with the help of machine so you have got a harvester which is a machine or if you can see here this farmer lady is chopping the crops with the help of a sickle sickle is this it is a c shape it is a c shape knife which helps to chop the harvest very very sharp it is used to chop off the crop from the remaining plant that is the process of harvesting this brings us to the next process that is threshing threshing is when you separate the husk from the grain when you separate the husk or the additional peels of the grain that is nothing but threshing threshing can be done manually threshing can be done manually it can be done using a thresher machine a combined thresher that is a harvester plus thresher so harvester plus thresher is a very modern modern machine where the harvesting and the threshing both happen together that is a harvester thresher where the machine not only harvests it also threshes and gives you your crop so that is why the lives of farmers is now becoming quite easier but then again it takes lot of money to invest into these machines like harvester thresher like drip irrigation sprinkler irrigation and all that so it involves a lot of money but it has definitely made the lives of the farmers easier so these are the methods by which threshing can be done manually using a thresher machine or a thresher plus harvester that is a combined thresher that brings us to the last process in the prepare in the uh, crop production and management and that is storage as i told you in the beginning of the class a very very important process if farmer doesn't do this properly his entire hard work has gone in vain to store your crops properly to make sure that no rodents no uh, insects or no pests attack your crops you have to store them very very carefully in granaries so the storage of where grains are done is known as a granary a granary is a dry little house like structure made in the farm where the farmer stores all his grains so jute bags jute bags can be used or metallic bins metallic bins or jute bags can be used to store the grains or in a larger scale if it's a commercial farm you can use silos these are the big silos you can clearly see the image or a granary as i told you as i told you granary granaries are where stacks of jute bags can be stored and the uh, crop should be well protected from rodents it should be protected from rain very very important it should be protected from rain and if it needs to be dried it should have direct access to sunlight so all these steps should be taken care of while the farmer is storing his grains because this is one of the most important important processes when it comes to crop production and management and that brings us to the summary of the entire chapter one of the most important slides which brings you the summary of the entire chapter that what is crop production and management all about so let us once again go through the entire journey of crop production and management one by one let us see the first step preparation of soil where you plow the soil means you uh, expose the inner layer of the soils to air and you level the soil with the help of hoe plow or cultivator second step is sowing where you sow the seeds we saw the farmer was sowing it with the help of funnel so funnel method or you have the modern seed drill method where you use a machine to sow the seeds at equal distances next was adding manure and fertilizers for proper growth of the growing crops for that you have got manure which can be organic and fertilizer which can be organic or inorganic the fourth step was irrigation that is water supply to the growing crops water supply can be done by traditional methods or modern methods which are expensive but effective next comes weeding that is removal of excessive grass or plants from near your crops and that can be done using a kurpi seed drill or sprays now again weeding is very very important because weeds will uh, take away the nutrients from the soil and your growing crops will not get the sufficient nutrients that brings us to the next step that is harvesting harvesting is the time when the farmer reaps his fruits the farmer reaps the fruits of his hard work and labor of so many days and this is the time when the farmer chops the the yield 
from the crop and that can be done manually with the help of a sickle or a harvester the next step is threshing threshing is when you separate the husk from the grain and this can also be done manually or with the help of machines and the last and the most important step is storage where the where it is the duty of the farmer to store his grains properly so that they do not get infested by rodents insects or they do not get uh, spoiled by rainfall so it should be taken care that the farmers store their grains in clean dry insect free and rodent free place so storage can be done on a small scale in jute bags or metallic bins or on a large scale in silos or granaries that is all about crop production and management lastly we should also remember that animal husbandry is also a very important factor when it comes to crop production and management because that is also a source of food animal husbandry is the process by which animals are reared in homes or farms with proper food shelter and care in order to utilize them on larger scale food production like chickens chicken that is used for consumption of non-vegetarian food cows and buffaloes are red so that the production of milk and milk products can be enhanced so poultry is the poultry is the section of animal husbandry where animals are reared they are given proper food shelter care medicinal requirements are met and so that they give you proper yield and proper amount of meat egg milk is obtained from these animals because that is also a source of food this guys brings us to the end of this amazing informative and knowledgeable session that taught us whatever we wanted to learn about crop production and management if you want to learn more in depth about such chapters in depth in detail one to one with the help of a master teacher you want all your doubts to be cleared you want assignments and tests based on chapters do not forget that vedantu has got some amazing micro courses which will help you to do all of that at just the cost of rupees piece 11 if you want to get these courses for just rupees 11 do log on to vdnt.in slash yt micro and use my special code that is prmic trust me guys micro courses will change the way you look at learning so log on to vdnt.in slash yt micro and use my special code prmic to get the micro courses only for 11 rupees along with that vedantu has also launched some crash courses which will make sure that your entire syllabus of science and math is covered like never before so if you want to get your entire syllabus of science and math covered like never before do enroll for the crash courses the details for the crash courses are given in the description below to get these crash courses at just rupees 2850 you can take my special code again that is prcc use prcc and get these crash courses only for rupees 2850 along with that guys we also have this amazing app that gives you access to the classes quizzes and leaderboards absolutely free this app is available free of cost on google store and apple store if you haven't downloaded it yet download it now because it is an awarded app by google in the user's choice award 2019 everyday essentials category so download the app and take the benefit make learning fun and exciting like never before until i meet you next guys take care of yourself stay healthy stay happy stay blessed God bless you all. Bye-bye.